Hello, and welcome to Read Up. Here at Read Up, we get to explore the wonderful world of reading. Today we're going to take a look at Schooled by Gordon Corman. Cap grew up on Garland Farm, an alternative farm commune with his caretaker and hippie grandmother, Rain. They were the only two people left living on the farm, and Rain was the only person Cap knew. He wasn't your typical 13-year-old boy. He had never watched TV before, he had never had pizza before, and he'd never lived anywhere else besides the farm. Until one day, when Rain is hospitalized, Cap is sent to live with a social worker and thrown into the chaos that is middle school. His long hair and hemp clothes and the fact that he practices Tai Chi makes him the weirdest kid at school. The popular students bully Cap, but he never tries to get back at them. The story is told through Cap, but also through the eyes of the other characters in the story. Here is a preview from the book. I was 13 the first time I saw a police officer up close. He was arresting me for driving without a license. At the time, I didn't even know what a license was. I wasn't too clear on what being arrested meant either. But by then, they were loading Rain onto a stretcher to rush her in for x-rays, so I barely noticed the handcuffs the officer slapped on my wrists. Who is the owner of the pickup? It belongs to the community, I told him. He made a note on a ring-bound pad. What community? Golf club? Condo deal? Garland Farm. He frowned. Never heard of that one. Rain would have been pleased. That was the whole point of the community, to allow us to escape the money-hungry rat race of modern society. If people didn't know us, they couldn't find us and we could live our lives in peace. It's an alternative farm commune, I explained. The officer goggled at me. Alternative? You mean like hippies? Will the other students learn to accept Cap for who he is? Or will he continue to be the butt of their jokes? To find out, you'll have to read the rest of the story. Schooled can be found in your local library. Be sure to pick up a copy and continue to read up.